Hello, Josh. Thanks for coming today. I'm really looking forward to talking to you about why SAP on AWS and what you're seeing out in the marketplace. It's great to be here, Kimberly. Thanks for inviting me. And what am I seeing is, is a, a really extraordinary breadth and depth of different kinds of companies, different kinds of business cases, technological cases uh, for, for moving Again, a very broad range of different products and technologies over to AWS. It's a pretty impressive list. I see you see companies who are really you know using AWS as a as a launching pad, if you will, for a full digital transformation of Absolutely. a global enterprise. Uh, they're cherry picking some of the opportunities, maybe moving some subsidiaries to S4 HANA today, keeping headquarters on ECC with an eventual move over to AWS. There are companies who, who really think well. I have this greenfield opportunity. I have this new e-commerce potential opportunity I want to have. Let's let's spin up Hybris again on AWS. Use that as our launching pad. No, absolutely. I and mean, as you're aware, we have thousands of customers today running SAP on AWS. Hundreds of enterprise customers are currently running their production workloads on AWS. And and like you see said, we see a variety of reasons that they're coming over. Lots of them might be that full digital transformation. They're looking at the cloud as the way to innovate and take their business to the next level. Um, some of them might be looking at it's just disaster recovery. I'm looking for a quick disaster recovery solution. We'll get on board and we'll move from there. Um, the example you used of um, an acquisition coming on. We've seen a couple of different instances where someone might take an acquisition, do a greenfield implementation of an S4 HANA, which then they have plans to make that then their global instance following it. But take that greenfield approach and then move everything else over. Um, so it really is looking at what the customer needs is and where they're trying to get to. And, and, and again, where are they on their cloud transformation journey? Yeah, and, and which products are they using? I mean, it's, that's to me the other, the other fascinating thing about the AWS opportunity is, of course, it's it's pretty much everything SAP offers today. I, I don't know, there may be a couple of products here and there you're not not running yet, but the idea being that, you know, this is a company, SAP, that has an enormous breadth of functionality because it has an enormously broad set of customers. These are, and you know, smaller, you know, smaller enterprises, large global enterprises, running subsidiaries, dependently, independently. Uh, some of them are on ECC. Some of them are already on HANA. Some of them are running ECC on Oracle. Some of them are running, you know, on on the MySQL. What, whatever they're trying to do, um, there's an opportunity for them to make the next step and to move it on to AWS. I think that's that's really impressive to no, me. No, absolutely, because you have the ability to do just a lift and shift and look at what you're running today and move that over to the cloud, but then also look at where are you in the migration journey? Are you looking at moving to HANA or moving to S4? And the ability to do that at speed very quickly um, and have the flexibility to say, I'm going to put a sandbox environment. How am I going to perform when I move to the cloud or how am I going to perform when I move to S4 or HANA? Being able to spin up an instance in under an hour, so an example of four terabyte instance, spin up in under an hour, it's really incredible to let them look at what is it going to do. Josh, thanks so much for your time today. I really enjoyed our conversation. Me too. It's been really a lot of fun. Thanks.